Shiny hunting in Pokemon has always been a somewhat long, arduous process. It takes a lot of time and patience to get a shiny, and that's really just the nature of it. So what if we threw all of that out the window and just speed ran it? With the help of some sparkling power sandwiches, me and my buddy Solar Scyther Gaming went head to head in a shiny crawl, a form of shiny race where you start in one area and only move to the next area after you get a shiny to repeat the process. We did this in Blueberry Academy's terrarium, basically just going in circles to see who had better shiny luck, going till we ran through the effects of four sandwiches. This was a blast to do and we plan on doing it again sometime, so make sure to go and follow the Twitch to get in on the action live. And go follow Solar, cause I suppose he's pretty cool too. After exchanging pleasantries at the beginning of stream, we got right down to business. Like I said before, we did this in the DLC's terrarium, so we had four biomes to choose from as our starting point, and we would then just go clockwise in circles till all was said and done. So what better way to decide than to roll a D4? Yes, I have dice, and no, I have not played any D&D. All right, let's see where we're starting. All right, that's a that's a one. Amazing. That's a one. <laughs> In fact, no coastal biome. One. You can see it right there. You can see it right there. It's a one. I mean, you guys can't see it. <laughs> My hands are too large. <laughs> Just trust me that it was a one. My camera is a bit bad with the details, but either way, this meant we were off to the coastal biome where we wished one another luck as I struggled to make myself a water sandwich while Solar effortlessly put together a psychic variant, officially starting our first 30 minute sandwich timer. Also, there's no shiny sound in this game, so I don't actually know what some of the shinies look like. There isn't really much else other than execute spawning on a psychic sandwich. In fact, nothing. Oh, there's one or a Corio. All right. Now there are plenty of eggs gathering, so this is this is good to see. I really should have looked into what some of these shinies look like ahead of time. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just gonna be here for a while. <laughs> uh, I suppose one thing I could do if I don't find any eggs, I do have a secondary target in mind for this sandwich. I'd rather not though, because I've already caught a few of them. But if I have to. If I have to break out the big guns, there is the main beach area that does offer Esper and Meowstic. I do still need a male Meowstic, so that'd be cool, but yeah, there's every chance I'll get a female Esper instead. But a shiny's a shiny after all, so you know. I think it should be a rather noticeable colour as well, so it's not going to be a minor difference. I don't know what any of these shinies look like, dude. I, I messed up, dude. I messed up. Oh no, oh no. I'm just waiting for for Solar to unmute himself and just be like, just be like, I already got one, <laughs> like in like a minute. I feel like his shiny luck supersedes any amount of shiny luck that I have. Ah, oh, so many eggs. And what always gets me with Execute, there's always one that's got its shell broken, its brains exposed. Like, poor Execute. Come on, Eggy Eggs. Give us a shiny if you could. And I'm going after Execute in particular because... I don't know if I've ever had a shiny execute before. Executors, yes. Be it an alone executor or... Excuse me? I'm nowhere near you. What do you think you're doing? Where? <laughs> Where? Where is? Where, shiny? Please, Gib. I want to say that Poplio is just like a lighter color. So hopefully that isn't screwed up by lighting and such. Because, like, he looks lighter than that one does. But it's just because of the lighting. It's a little grassy knoll, or whatever this is supposed to be. I don't know. I don't even know. What even is a knoll? Apart from the D&D &D reference. Oh, I thought that was a shiny for a second. No. The damn lighting effects of this game. <laughs> I really can play tricks on the eyes. And we can't go anywhere other than the coastal for right now. You know, I don't have any, like, actual preparation for this uh, shiny hunt. I do not have a uh, a false swiper. So I'm probably just going to be catching these dudes in quick balls. But here we go. Here we go. Hey, here we go. Let's go, dude. Now, I'm wondering if my shiny luck might have run away a little bit. Because I did start off today getting ready for Empoleon raids later. And I needed to get myself a Slowpoke. A Galarian Slowpoke. And I don't like to go into these raid battles with a non-shiny. So, of course, I had to go for a shiny Galarian Slowpoke. And, yep, sure enough, I managed to get one. So, I wonder if, as a result, the shiny luck when I need it most has run away. Right, I would have for time. 16 and a half minutes. All right. Oh, we could go for a... We could go for mud actually we could just reset mudkips in the one area it might honestly be the better idea just because some of these pokemon do end up under the water we could encounter a shiny and not even know it because it's just hiding under the water pink mud boy here we come well there, there is me the blue bits are yellow basically so it's it's a very 
obvious shiny. Also, this one is called Esper. That one is also really easy to tell when it's shiny because it's bright pink. Well, it's a pale pink, I suppose, rather than the sort of purplish colour it is there. So we should have an easy time spotting the shiny there if it does indeed grace us with its presence. I should also say too that uh, Meowstic has quite a big difference between the male and female form. So you can see they are both basically the same Pokemon, but they're quite inverted in their colour scheme. So it doesn't mean they're shiny, it's just the male and female difference. So bear that in mind. It's what I need to tell myself. Hello, Mudkip. Oh my god, there's so many Mudkips. <laughs> Why are there so many? Just give me the Mudkip. You know you want to. You know you want to give me a shiny Mudkip. You know you want to give me my favourite starter as a shiny. Mudkip, if you could have some shiny friends, that would be wonderful. Why do you never befriend the purple ones? <laughs> Why are you not friends with the purple ones? What's that all about? It feels a little disrespectful. Oh, uh, don't tell me I'm going to be stuck in the coastal biome for a second sandwich. No. I mean, I will change things up if I am. Not that I want to be planning for that, of course. I. Oh, no. I clipped the Esper. That was unintentional. How's it going, Mudkip? Sir Mudkip? Sir, M Sir Mud? Sir Mud? That's what... That's... That's his preferred term, which I understand. I can get, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. It's a mudkip after all. Whatever he wants goes. Sir Kip, yeah. In fact, Sir Mud, Sir Kip, Sir Kip with it was his father though. So is that skinny? It's me, Boris. Is that Boris? No, this is Luna. Oh, <laughs> the cat. Amazing. Our cat is just chilling, sleeping on the back of the couch with with Gabby. Gabby's not sleeping on the back of the couch. Let me clarify. There we go. There's one. Let's fucking go, dude. He purple. There we go. Crit catch. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Solar, my good sir. Uh-oh. Are you there? This is where I need to unmute, doesn't it? Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, I just got a mudkip. Shiny mudkip. Mudkip? In fact. Oh. So I'm going to move on to, what was it? Savannah? Is that what we determined? Uh, yep. Savannah's next. Okay. Perfect. Sounds oh, good. Puts you in the lead. Just thought I'd, yeah, just thought I'd let you let you know. God, it's super bright in the savannah biome, but why? Anyway, <laughs> my eyes. Yeah, I. That, it was a. Uh, it was by chance. It was just hiding in a corner. The uh, the mudkip that I got was just hiding in a corner oh. in the cave. So yeah, we're we're out here. We got one. Nice that skinny one. Solar nil. It's me. Yep. Nice. So we'll uh, we'll keep going and uh, yeah. Good luck. Hope you hopefully you get one soon. Surprisingly. I was first on the board. See, cause the difference between Solar and I is that Solar shiny hunts all the time. And I shiny hunt sometimes. I dabble. But with only five minutes left on our first sandwich, the odds of us getting another were waning and Solar's window of opportunity was not far off from closing. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be up for this sandwich. Come on, come on, come on. We've had this happen before. We've had several people. <gasps> Yes, it worked! <laughs> yes! Power of truth is! <laughs> you legend! That's a shiny Esper right there. <laughs> well, there goes my lead, but I had to keep my chin up. Sure, we were even, but even means nothing when you still have three more sandwiches to rely on. We found no more luck with that first sandwich and moved on to sandwich number two. Or at least, we tried. Our attempt to make it was cut short by my lack of ingredients of all things. Not even Herba Mystica either. Just ham and tofu. One wild goose chase later and we had everything to craft our normal sandwich, of which Solar counteracted with a fire sandwich of his own. Also, if you're enjoying the video, remember to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a whole lot and hopefully it'll give me the shiny luck I need to win this race. Yeah, this'll let us get uh, a lot of different encounters in Savannah. This'll will give us Doduo, Dodrio, Chansey, Rufflet, Braviary. Dodrio and Doduo are actually a really good option though because they are in fact green. That's going to be really obvious. I believe Chansey is also green though. Hello? The game keeps lagging so much to the point that I feel like it's going to crash. But also this gives us, yeah, this gives us Litleo, this gives us Sazbuck, Pyroar, all those dudes. I don't know what their shinies look like. So I feel like going for Doduo and Dodrio would probably be our best bet. Because I actually know what those shinies look like. It ain't easy being green, Pokemon shinies. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, dude. They were like all green in Gen 1. Like all of Gen 1's shinies are just green. Like that's not entirely entirely true but like there's a lot there's a lot of gen 1 green shinies we're going after a fire type i'm trying to get a charmander not a freaking litleo i feel like 
shiny Charmander should be obvious, but I might just let Samurott go crazy for a bit. It would probably be beneficial to actually move around and spawn more in rather than just knock him out necessarily. But you never know. It could work. It could work. Give give them to me. Give, give them give to, to me. me. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time that the game starts to lag, I'm afraid that it's just going to crash on me. How much do we got left? It, it's only been five minutes. Okay, what am I talking about? How much do we have left? The whole thing is... We still have the whole thing left. Ah, there's a site on a rock. <laughs> it's just surrounded by Charmanders. They're like, leave me alone. Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're gonna burn me. There's too many of them. Poor... Oh, how to get another just singular random scyther in amongst a whole bunch of charmander also tauros is an option but i feel like i don't know what his shiny looks like that's the problem that's the biggest problem with this is that i don't know what some i don't know what a lot of shinies look like so it makes it more difficult for me <laughs> to know whether something's shiny or not at a glimpse because i don't know what the shinies look like also stream is dying Stream is dying, and now it probably looks like ass. Gib shine. I deserve it. I've been a good boy. I've been such a good boy. Please, please, sir, may I have some more? Ah, Chancey ran into me. What a jerk. Come on, bro. I knew you want to give me a shiny. I knew you want to. I knew you want to, bro. You are so cool like that. You like to give me shinies, and I like to receive them. And that's just the synergy that we have going on. And if you don't hold up your end of the bargain, we're going to have some issues. I'm not waiting that long. I might as well read the manga. Fair enough. You might as well read the manga. You kids like this manga stuff? Well, it's definitely not going to be in the pool, is it? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second there. This is the fact that the game stopped and the music stopped too. All right, now I really am beginning to wonder. Have I walked past a shiny Charmander already? I mean, a group of five like that should be obvious. Bro, what I would give. What I would give. What I would give for a shiny. I'd give a. I'd give my liver. I'd give one of my lungs. I'd give one of my kidneys. If not both. My body doesn't need to process things. Where are the green birds? Where are they? You can't tell me that there aren't none. Right, yeah, go on, Chansey, yeah, run away, go on. And you're despawning? Yep, yeah, you're despawning, there you go, good. Yeah, let's keep going, how much time we got left? Oh, 12 minutes, oh no. Oh, also it's daytime now. Ah, uh, this might make it harder to spot now. Yeah, it's weird how the lighting really has a major effect on the Pokemon's appearance, doesn't it? I don't know whether it's testament to the lighting team. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it isn't, is it? I just saw this one and panicked. Bro Chacho, what's going on, bro Chacho? How's it going? How's how's life? How's how are the kids? How's the wife? How's little Jimmy? Okay, now now it's raining, so now it's just gonna be pure lag and pure chaos. Eight minutes left. This is a bummer, dude. Well, now I'm just encountering every single Charmander I see now. That's not. Wait, that's one there. That's obvious. Presumably Scyther has not gotten one yet, so... Yes! That is really obvious, actually. Yeah, all right, let's go. Come on. <laughs> right, we have to go sell it to Skinny. Oh, Skinny. Skinny. There it is. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, Shiny Charmander. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> oh boy, I've just been chasing down Doduos and Dodrios this entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah, literally chasing them. Yeah, basically. They really do just run. They just book it wherever <laughs> we go. Congrats on the second shiny. You're Thank you. Thank you're you. on to the uh, canyon then? Yep, canyon. And I'm going to go after the Amazing. outbreak on this one. I'm going to try for Tepic. That's going to be my target, Very I think. Good. Well, hey, cool. right. congrats on the I'm Charmander. Good. Thank you. Hopefully uh, yours is yeah, coming up we'll shortly. We'll reconvene uh, in, a, in a little bit. Oh, yes. Catch yes. a bit. In fact. All right. Oh, dear. He sounded a little bit down, didn't he? Well, I'm sure his next one is around the corner. 
Solar was officially the one that was up. Moving on to the canyon biome, while we were still stuck in the savanna, we continued to chase down bi and tri-headed birds till the sandwich's effects ran out, leaving Solar in the lead and a lot to be desired on our end. But there was no time to sit around and lollygag, so we whipped up a flying sandwich this time, while Solar doubled down on the fire sandwich, ready for yet another 30 minutes of hunting. Sadly, Skinny's had to reset. But it does mean there'll be room for an extra sandwich, I suppose. But you're looking, you're looking for targets. But you're blind, so there we go. We'll help you out. For you. <laughs> we are going to still go for the Doduo Dodrio. And if we come across something like a Scyther or anything like that, we will definitely go for it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Let's fucking go. Let's go, dude. Get back here, you son of a bitch. It better not despawn, I swear to God. Okay. There it is. Green do duo. Let's go, dude. I caught this one off guard as well. So, crit catch. Let's go. Right away, dude. Mr. Solar. Mister. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I got the do duo. Yes. I went with a flying sandwich this time. I decided on a flying uh, sandwich. Okay. So, there you go. I have That's officially. Yeah, in fact, I have officially. Caught a second one. Hopefully that will actually do me some service uh, in the canyon. The the flying <laughs> will do me some service in the canyon. Well, you've, you've got options. I mean, you've got choices in the canyon. Perfect. Be interested to see what you're going for. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Nicely done. In fact, not even five minutes into the third sandwich, I finally chased down that dumb green bird. Now I could catch up with my competition a little bit. Moving to the canyon with plenty of sparkling power to spare. Okay, so we could go for, we can just go for Scyther. Scyther might be the vibe here. There we go. Nice. He's got his second one. <laughs> I kind of think that's the day you're apologizing there for not showing up previously. But yeah, what could Skinny be going for? I wonder. What? Could, well, you've got Altarias and Swablus. There's Sky. Skarmory is another option, I think. So he's got choices. Oh, I could go for Skarmory, actually. Hold up. Skarmory would be lit. Yeah, Skarmory is up here. And yeah, and there's Swablu up here. Swablu and Altaria. I'm so sorry, Scyther. <laughs> Shiny Altaria. It's good. Oh, crit catch. Amazing. Scyther, Solar. No freaking way. <laughs> what? <got> an Altaria. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. In fact. All the turntables. In fact. Mmm. <laughs> flying types yeah. in the polar biome. Yeah, flying in the, pol that? in the polar. Uh, it's not great. It's not great. But I will take it and we will see what <laughs> I can do. See what I can pull off. I've only got one I can think of. Mini or. Oh yeah. But that's impossible to shiny hunt. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, that's oh that's awful. Alright, well it's fine. It's what I deserve for getting two shinies like within like five minutes of each other. Amazing. Well hey, good luck with your shiny oh, hunt. Yeah, I'm gonna join it because that's a shiny tepic. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Yes! You enjoy your shiny tepig. I will. Uh either way, good luck with your uh your shiny hunt, and I will yeah, catch you whenever the next time that we chat is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll see if it's five minutes. We'll see if it's at the end of the sandwiches. We'll take it. Catch anyway, it. yep. I just want to emphasize something real quick, and that is that all of this happened in the span of 10 minutes. Some, if not oftentimes, my shiny luck supersedes me. We had plenty of time left on our sandwich, but we had a bit of a problem ahead of us. There is exactly one flower flying type that spawns in the polar biome. Now, that may seem like a positive at a glance, which it would be if it weren't Minior that fills that single slot. So for the next 20 minutes or so, I just had to wing it and use the auto battle mechanics in hopes of coming across the unseen shiny by pure luck. Meanwhile, Solar had a bit better of a time than us. Oh yeah, I can't quite believe that Skinny got that lucky there, eh? Oh, speaking of lucky. <laughs> School bunny! Uh, um, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. What did you get? Oh, well, I haven't got it yet. It's a school bunny. Oh, very good. I literally just said oh, as boy. well that I can't quite believe that Skinny got those quite quickly. You know, that was really quite lucky. Yep. And then I turned the corner. Speaking of lucky, hi, school bunny. School bunny. 
<laughs> That's wild. Oh, I've got as many R's to deal with. I mean, oh, if boy. you do manage to get a shiny mini, though, that would be epic. That would be. It would be. That would. I'd win. <laughs> I'd win just because of that. <laughs> and there we go. There's the catch. All right. I'll. Uh, I'll get back to it. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Catch you we'll a bit. See you in a bit. A lot of shiny starter action. I'm kind of digging it. Not much else to report with the rest of that third sandwich, so it was time to finish this race out strong with another normal sandwich of my own and a grass sandwich for Solar. It was three to four with Solar in the lead, but I had a Porygon outbreak that I was going to take advantage of, so I felt fairly confident in what I could pull off in those last 30 minutes. And so time began to tick away. Right, well, that's just a random Porygon. Minchino could work as well in this area, as well as Chinchino. But either way, also Smeargle is here. What the heck? Why are there so many Smeargle? <laughs> Go ahead. Take out the Porygons. Oh, you do spot up here as well. That's good to know. And again, with Bobby up front, she's going to be able to put Bob sort of sleep with Hypnosis rather than Spore. That's why we've got it on there. Now look at all those Bulbasaurs. There's so many. I love to see it. You can actually properly hunt for Bulbasaur. They're just over here now. What are they doing? Why, why are you guys hanging out over here? Seems like a weird place for you to hang out, personally. Oh, these Porygons are really being annoying, aren't they? Where are the Porygons? Like, Porygons must just be that uncommon that they, like, aren't showing up very often. Something. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. Maybe a shiny will appear. You never know. I've had four already on the stream, though, so if it doesn't show, it doesn't show. That's fine. And we are currently one ahead. Not that the actual shiny cat matters, because ultimately, you know, this is very much the first time I've actually done a proper kind of like shiny race collaboration. And, uh... I mean, I'm enjoying it. I think this is fun. So hopefully we'll do some more of these in the future. And, you know, get more people involved as well. So maybe I can have a think about it and try and put together some kind of table or some kind of competition. I mean, heck, I'll really go into it. I'll get a cup, <laughs> like a little trophy or something. That'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? Why Why are they, like, spawning so weird? Oh, here, here's one. Okay, Faye, just go that way, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Another one right here. Yeah, this, this outbreak has been real wonky, I gotta say. I think it'll be a thing to do, but, uh, you know, something to brainstorm, maybe. Something I'll probably need to actually set aside time for, as in to actually think about it, rather than just, oh yeah, I'll think about it, and then I always end up getting distracted by the latest release on Genshin, or, um, actually, yeah, at the other moment it's the latest release on Genshin, because I've still got, still haven't finished the quest, actually, for Chenny Vale. Still got that to do, and that's a shiny Bulbasaur! Yes! Here we go! Love it with the spawns of a group of five, and it's really easy. Go after that Porygon. I don't know if... Oh, okay. There's a lot of Porygon now. Oh, what the heck? Skinny, wherefore art thou? Oh, my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Hello. What did you get this time? Um, I'll do my best impression, see if you can guess. Um, <laughs> you guess at me. Baba Shaw! Oh, amazing. <laughs> uh, Grookey. Oh, so close. It was actually cheap. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, interesting. Congrats on the sore, on the Bulbasaurus Rex. For sore, for sore. Yeah, for sore. <laughs> I'm having the worst time with this Porygon outbreak. Also, did it oh, right. disappear on me? I might have just finished the outbreak without realizing. Oh. But well, whoops. Either way, <laughs> that's whatever. <laughs> It's fine. I'll just run around and look for Minchinos. So, uh, well, congratulations on the Bulbasaur. Thank you. I'll uh, let you get back to it. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Catch you a bit. Well, that's no good. I was officially down by two with about 20 minutes remaining, and the Porygon outbreak gave me absolutely nothing. I was going to need a miracle in order to even tie the match, let alone find myself in the lead. I wasn't about to give up, though, and soon the shiny gods bestowed their light upon me. I feel like a more obvious target would be Minchino, because it would be pink! There it is! Easy. Yeah, we have six minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Crit catch. Amazing. Hello. Oh. Oh. Um. Um. Mr. Solar. Oh, hello. Hello. We just got a Minchino. Yeah. In Minchino. Fact. So we're nice. moving. We're moving on to the uh, the coastal biome for the last uh, five minutes of this sandwich. Oh, come on! You can do it. That's plenty of so time we'll for see. a shiny to show up. Come on! You can do this. Just need a fifth, and then we tie. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you've Basically. got this. All right, sounds good. Well, I'll I'll update you when it comes, when the time comes. All right. 
All right, goodbye. Oh my goodness, what a nice shiny. But there was no time to dwell on the draw of the chinchilla's pink appearance. Five minutes is all we had left before the race was over. I had completed a full circle of the terrarium, having to move on to the coastal biome yet again. There were a fair amount of potential normal type encounters around, so I definitely still had a chance as long as I didn't hear from Solar in the time remaining. A minute passed, no word. Then another minute, still no word. But yet, I couldn't gain hope. Even though Solar had nothing to report, neither did I. And then, just as the final minute was about to come to a close, off in the distance, I saw it. My defeat. Yeah, no, the time ran dry with no new reports to be made, losing my first ever shiny race to Solar by one single shiny. I mean, one would have tied the game, but two, two would have won it. But we all know that that wasn't about to happen. Hello. Hello. Yes, time is up for my sandwich. I did, in fact, not find another shiny. I just want to add this just for fun, just to show off all of the shinies that I got. But you, of course, have emerged as the victor. Hooray! Well, there you go. That's 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 it. That is the that's the shiny crawl, ladies and gentlemen. But let's be real, that was pretty damn close. A beautiful game of tug of war, the lead being passed back and forth like hot potato. I really enjoyed doing this and I couldn't have asked for a better partner for my first shiny race. Make sure to give Solar a follow over on Twitch as he's the true shiny hunter here and probably drop a follow on our page while you're over there. If you made it this far, make sure to like the video and subscribe to let me know you enjoy this kind of content and leave a comment if you've got a Pokemon challenge you'd like me to attempt. Whatever it is, I'll make sure to stream it when and the time is right. Another big thanks to Solar for doing this with me and hoping to do more like it in the future. That's about it for me today, but until next time, as always, have a good one, stay safe, and I'll see you around.